Hello everybody, my name is Victoria Strauss. Have you ever had a dream so big that you were afraid to speak it out loud for fear that the mere mention of it would obliterate the very idea? Well, thinking of going back to school at any stage in life can feel intimidating. Yet here I was, a wife, a mom, and working full time, suddenly pondering my hidden dream. What I didn't know, according to the National Center for Educational Statistics, is that 7.6 million students over the age of 25 are projected to attend colleges and universities. That's roughly 38% of student population, according to MarketWatch. I am here to tell you that speaking your dreams out loud to someone you trust can literally change your perspective and the direction of your life very quickly. Today, I am going to share my story with the intent to inspire you to speak your dreams out loud. First, I would like to address facing the fears of expressing an unspoken dream, discuss preparing for the unexpected obstacles, and finally, witnessing a dream as it begins to unfold. My story begins in 2015 when my two daughters graduated from their respective universities, each with a bachelor's degree, feeling the proud moment as I witnessed my daughter's years of dedicated hard work suddenly coming to fruition, actually awoke a hidden dream within me that I had dared not speak to anyone, but eventually I shared it with my husband. Speaking words out loud removes some of the ominous, fearful feelings associated with an idea. I found the courage to share my dream of having a college education with my husband. As the words came out, I realized that the sound of them didn't diminish their significance. I didn't become the center of any ridicule, and I actually felt a sense of relief. My husband told me I should not live with the regret of not going for it. Being offered that support further tugged at the possibility that this may actually be a tangible idea. I wrestled with the thought of taking action, exploring what it may look like, what I would want to do, and what kind of commitment this may take. Chasing dreams comes with a host of complicated twists and turns as you are about to see coupled with the routine process of facing new fears. Preparing for the unexpected obstacles could have saved me some real heartache and needless stress with the simple realization that nothing will go exactly as you anticipate. Balancing the workload between classes, work life, and home life can leave you feeling less than capable. As new deadlines filled my calendar every day amid my regular responsibilities for work and home, an overwhelming sense of inadequacy arose. Seeking support and committing everything to my planner allowed my perspective for managing my time between work, school, and home. Class schedules don't always line up with the availability of classes as you anticipate, and strategic planning with an advisor can really help to form a habit of always creating a plan B. That's what I did. So an open enrollment came about, and a class that I had planned to take was already full. I could quickly revert to the alternate plan within seconds and be right back on track. Failures can actually have you feeling like running for the hills. At the toughest of times, I felt myself struggling with the thought of, do I really belong here? Realizing I am human and will make mistakes or suffer failures at times has been a rough one to face. But fortunately, there are countless supportive resources available to me and to you. But the biggest obstacle I've had to tackle is myself. I had to find a way to get past my own fears, to find the motivation within myself to actually discipline my time, to do whatever it takes to complete every assignment to the best of my ability, to routinely study, to plan ahead, to keep myself accountable with a support system. While venting my frustrations of being overwhelmed by all of this to my youngest daughter, she offered me some advice in the form of a question. How do you eat an elephant? The answer was simple, one bite at a time. The lesson here was I didn't need to worry about the big picture as much as with being consistent, chopping away at what was right in front of me, the rest would come. Seeing a dream unfold may not ever look the way you thought it would, and that shouldn't diminish its value in any way. Coping with a changing landscape actually has its merits. As I begin my journey, I thought you simply just picked a path and raced to the finish line. What I discovered was a multitude of side paths that led to unexpected destinations. Each one offered me a potentially new challenge and it was up to me to ask questions and discover my own strengths along the way that would help to navigate this seemingly endless maze. Obstacles like competitive healthcare programs requ required me to be flexible and consider multiple programs at once. As a result, the end goal was becoming clearer and more meaningful. 
Keeping an open mind can allow you to explore beyond the familiar, realizing it's okay to change your mind, or even admit that you don't like what you've discovered about the path that you're on, or gaining exposure to a new path that suits you well. They're all aspects of keeping an open mind. It's in this place that I've discovered unexpected things about myself. And as my story unfolds, my future is looking brighter than I had once dreamed. Allowing yourself to be human, experiencing the ebb and flow of personal growth while chasing dreams can actually open up a world of possibilities. A dream is like a seed waiting to be planted. You can imagine what it will look like, but it isn't until it develops and blooms that you can fully appreciate the intricacies of what was held within that little seed. I hope that you were inspired by hearing my story of going back to school, facing fears of expressing an unspoken dream, preparing for the unexpected obstacles, and seeing a dream unfold. I would hope for you to remember that no dream is too big and deserves to be brought to life as you find the courage to speak it aloud. Thank you.